Hi, it's Daddy. Hi, hi Ollie, hi Quinny, hi Mommy. Hi. So let's do the first one for Ollie. A super big high five. Here we go. High five. And then for Quinny. A super nuzzle! Nuzzle, 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 Ah, I love you guys. So, guess what? I'm reading you a book tonight. Yeah? So, I'll give you a hint. This book is about a monkey. It's about a monkey who's curious. And the monkey who's curious has the same first name as the first president of the United States. You don't know what that is? It's George. He's a curious monkey named George. Do you know what book we're reading? Yeah, Curious George. The curious monkey named George. Curious George goes to a costume party by Margaret and H.A. Reyes. Reyes. Narrated by... Daddy! Woo! We love him! He's got great fuzzy hair! You guys gonna fuzz my hair? There you go. Yeah. All right, this, right there, this is George. He's always a good, he's a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, were on their way to a party at Mrs. Gray's house. George could not wait. He liked parties. He was looking forward to seeing Mrs. Gray. But when the door opened, George didn't see Mrs. Gray at all. He saw a witch. Which witch is which? Witch! Don't be afraid, George, said the man with the yellow hat. This witch is our friend. The witch took off her mask. It was Mrs. Gray after all. Oh dear, she said. Did I forget to tell you that this was a costume party? That's okay. He's wearing an all yellow outfit with a top hat, basically. That's kind of a costume. Maybe he's going as a banana. Gwen went as a banana. Banana! George had never been to a costume party inside. Sorry, before. Inside, he saw more people than he knew. They were all wearing costumes. There was his best friend, Betsy, dressed up like an astronaut. And there, uh, was that Bill? Why, he looked just like a mummy. George wanted to wear a costume, too. I have some dress-up clothes upstairs, said Mrs. Gray. Would you like to use them to make a costume, George? He went as a trash can. A clown, a witch, a fairy, a cat, a queen and a police officer. Mrs. Gray took George to a room with a big trunk filled with clothes. Borrow anything you like, George, she said. I have just the thing for your friend downstairs. George tried on lots of costumes. The first was too big, and the next was too small. Another was too silly. I don't even know what that is. Maybe a chicken? Ballet dancer? I don't know. And this one was too scary. It's Frankenstein. At last, George found a costume that was just right. He was a rodeo cowboy. Well, he's an adorable rodeo cowboy. He wore a vest and pants with a fringe? He had a lasso and a hat. If only he could see himself in the mirror. 
George was curious. If he stood, could he see himself? He stood on the bed. No, he jumped. He jumped to see a little bit higher. George bounced on the bed just a little, but he still couldn't see. Aww. He bounced a little more, a little more. Soon George was having so much fun, he forgot all about looking in the mirror. He bounced as high as he could until... Crash! George bounced off the bed, smashed into a night table, and got tangled up in a tablecloth. Suddenly everything went dark. Where's George? He's underneath there. There's George underneath the, the tablecloth. George heard people downstairs gasp. What was that? Was that a ghost? A ghost? George did not want to meet up with a ghost alone. He dashed out of the room and down the hall. He wanted to get back to his friends in a hurry. And he knew the fastest way. He hopped onto the stair uh, rail and sailed. Whoosh! Down the stairs. It's a ghost! Someone screamed. Everyone turned. They looked scared. They were looking at George. The ghost must be right behind him. George flew off the rail and landed, plop into the arms of a farmer. But this wasn't really a farmer. It was his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Soon everyone stopped looking scared and started to laugh. That's not a ghost, that's a cowboy, laughed a policeman. That's not a cowboy, that's a monkey, giggled the princess. That's not just any monkey, said Betsy. It's Curious George. Everyone clapped and cheered. They liked George's Halloween trick. You gave us a good scare, George, said Mrs. Gray. I'm glad you found some interesting costumes. Now, why don't I take your ghost outfit so you could join the party? Also, that thing's an antique and you kind of ripped it. That's neither here nor there. Oh, and then they get to eat apples, also. After the guests bobbed for apples, lit jack-o'-lanterns, and played some party games, prizes for the best costumes were handed out. There was one prize for Betsy, one for Bill, and two for Curious George. You are the best ghost and the best cowboy, George, said Mrs. Gray. Aww. He's a jumping monkey. Everyone had a good time at the party, especially George. Too soon it was time to say goodbye. Good night, George. Happy Halloween. The end. Ta da! Mad Curious George. The wonderful world of George the monkey. So, what'd you guys think? Did you guys like the story about the curious monkey who shared the same first name as our nation's founder, George Washington? Yeah? Hmm. I love you guys. You're the best. I love you, Ollie. Way to keep it. Be strong. Big man. Proud of you, Ollie. Proud of you. And Quinny, I'm proud of you too. You're my Quinny, and I love you, and you're super pretty. Oh, right. And you guys have, have new backpacks, huh? Ollie has a Spider Man backpack, and Quinn has a Rapunzel backpack. And that sounds really pretty. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I, uh, I hope you guys have a good night. Go give. I know. There. Come on. Get closer. All right. I got a secret mission for you. All right. Ollie and Quinn. Right. You see mommy? All right. Don't tell her. You have to be sneaky. Remember? Shh. Sneaky. I want you to go over and give her a big, big hug and then nuzzle her. Hug and nuzzle. Hug and nuzzle. All right, but you have to be sneaky. Shh. Nice. Nice and sneaky. And then... Hug and nuzzle, hug and nuzzle, hug and nuzzle, hug and nuzzle! 
Yay! Oh, I love you guys. I love you all. I love my little family. Do you guys want to play the family game, speaking of which? Yeah? All right. Oh, come on. Come on. We're going to go over to the family. All right. Where is a swing? You see it? Is that it? Yeah, that's Quinny in a swing. All right, let's see. Where is, hmm, Ooh, this is a tough one. Where is snow? Do you see any snow? Where's the snow? There it is! It's white and it's snowy! And let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, alright, I got one. Where is two bicycles? Where are two bicycles? Right there? No, that's Queenie just as a banana. Two bicycles. Hmm. Oh, I know, right there? No, oh, that's Max. Two bicycles. Oh, I see them. There's one. And there's two. See? Mommy's on a bicycle. And then there's Mommy on another bicycle. Daddy's so proud of her. He loves her so much. All right, last one. Where is the chubby unicorn? Where's the chubby unicorn? Yeah, right there. No, that's mommy. There she is. That's the chubby unicorn. Hmm. All right, guys. I love you. You're the best. Ollie, I love you. Quinny, I love you. Mommy, I love you too. I love you guys. Have a great time. Bye-bye.